Well, it's Saturday morning and I want to keep the body moving. And the quest, the seemingly impossible quest for 100 consecutive press ups continues. Set number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Stopping there. Just completing 20 minutes of very high cadence work, 120 RPM at our Victor Campan Arts to get blood flowing through the muscles, to keep them nice and supple, help the process of recovery, set myself up for tomorrow, but also to reinforce good neuromuscular connections. Not a bad day if you're gonna ride outside. However, the intent is obviously different today. Post ride. And it's been somewhere nice. My mum's lemon cake. Where are we going? So I've got the high five, a little bit of coffee and some of that. Down to my last pot of amino acids, so I need to get some more. And here's a pro tip for a new pot, partly peeled. To save you digging around for the other one, that one's actually quite easy to get to. Always keep your old scooper. And so into each of the biddens, biddens, Chris. I'm putting probably half a serving because the amino acids will hopefully help reduce the breakdown of muscle tissue, you know, during probably the four hours. I'm also gonna have a serving, a half serving of amino acids right now with some carbohydrates. So that's going into this one. Then into the other bidden, oh, into the biddens, sorry. And these are unnecessarily difficult to sort of aim into, but there's two scoops of the high five, which is a fast digesting carbohydrate. You see that the spillage is high because the scoop is difficult. And I'm gonna put some coffee in, but obviously I'm not gonna have anything like a full serving of coffee in each of the biddens. I'm gonna go for about, that's about 75 milligrams there. I'm gonna repeat that into that one and that one. See how it goes. I've got some treats to eat on the bike as well. Um, practicing eating the kind of food I'll be consuming during a memoir. Top of the four ascents of Alpha Zwift. Here's the weigh-in. Thank you, Radistar. Cheers, Paul. Feeling a tad better. Post. Four ascents of Alpha Zwift weigh in, absolutely withered. So I suppose I haven't lost too much weight there. Probably could take on a bit more water, maybe a few more carbs in real life. That took a huge amount out of me. <laughs> Massively appreciate all the support in the live stream. Paul, Lee, David, Scott, thank you for joining me on the ride itself. Massive, massive kudos to you all and thank you for that. And Paul, you are one strong rider. Definitely you have for a sense at four watts a kilogram or more in you. But thank you for staying with me, I appreciate it. <sighs> yeah, I find this endurance stuff really hard. Underestimated the impact of the fourth ascent. Jane is correct with the maths. It's actually 33% more than doing three ascents. Um, makes a big difference. <sighs> Almost a bit of recovery. Um, but thoroughly enjoyed myself. I'm gonna have to put myself back together over the next couple of days or so, um, and then get on with the training. Um, but I have a much easier week in terms of the training this week because the, as I say, the immune system is gonna be impaired. Needs building back up, plenty of vitamin C, vegetables, nutrients, minerals. <laughs> well, after that four hour extravaganza, I really didn't have much of an appetite. I'm not sure if any of you kind of um, experienced the same loss of appetite after a long ride, maybe you can let me know. Um, but made myself have the usual ultimate greens and protein shake, a little bit of fruit, some of my mum's lemon cake and half an orange and cardamom bun. But thereafter, really haven't felt like eating. It's now 7.30 p.m. This is the first food I'm having. And so do let me know if it's usual um, for a big loss of appetite, as it were, after a ride where you can, you know, burn a lot of calories, I'd have thought I'd be hungrier. My mum's lemon drizzle cake, nice and moist. 
Look how it cuts. I not I don't want that much, but it's it cuts beautifully. Look at that. Scott's mum Jenny. Hope you approve. And courtesy of Jane, here's tonight's recovery food. Vegetable ratatouille, sweet potato, greens. Plenty of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, quality carbohydrates and fibre, all perfect for fueling athletic performance and boosting the immune system. Well, it's Tuesday evening and I've had a second full day of recovery because once again, I've kind of been discovering that these longer rides, for me, a four hour ride is a long one. The four ascents of Alp the Zwift at Sweet Spot are very demanding on the body and I felt very jaded this morning. So therefore took that second full rest day and trying to encourage the process of recovery once again with veggies for dinner. Sensational. Perfect for many, probably many, many laps at the inner circle of Regent's Park. Well, I've had a nice warm up and I'm about to start the training and it's going to be starting with 20 very hard minutes. It's going to be very relevant, I guess, to preparing me with the kind of fitness I need for the TT up Alp d'Huez, the Grimpeur Alp d'Huez. I'm taking a bit of inspiration from the training I did with Ed last week, where it's going to be 60 seconds in zone three, I 240 to 280 watts circa 90% of FTP. Straight into 30 seconds, uh, I guess 350 to 400 watts. I around about 120 to 140% of FTP. Not quite as hard um, as last week, but for a full 20 minutes rather than 14 and a half minutes. Um, and I think, you know, that's going to build kind of the threshold power that's going to be useful on the Grimpeur Alpe d'Huez. And then I think that kind of training also seems to set me up quite nicely for a sweet spot training after about five or six minutes of recovery. Going to be aiming at around about 250, 260 watts as always, i.e. 85% of FTP or so. Anyway, time to get on with the training. Time to meet another student, Mr. Ed Laverat, Gavin Arbor. Just finished a 50 minute ramp courtesy of the man himself. Hi. How was the ramp? Yeah, it's good, pretty tough. Uh, last 10 minutes were, were really hurty, but, um, but no, it was a good session, really good. Yeah, and unlike me, Gavin didn't short shift on the watts in the final 10 minutes. He hit the full 330. Me, I felt when I was here, five or six watts short. Anyway, we're both back on to work. Catch you later, Gavin. Yeah, you too. Well, it was great just now to bump into Gavin Arbor. And I gotta say, the guy is a machine. He's Cat 2, aiming for Cat 1 this year. Well, if there's enough races, definitely next year, if not, well, fingers crossed, Gavin. And he's responding really well to Ed's polarized training methods. Evidence of that is the fact that here at the Inner Circle last weekend, Gavin put down average power of 360 watts for 15 minutes. Most definitely a force of nature in a crit race. 
He also gave me a top tip to go the opposite direction to the one I've been going around the inner circle because the gradient's a little bit more favorable in terms of laying down nice, even power. Anyway, I digress. So that first 20 minute block averaged about 295 watts. We'll see what the normalized power is when I get back, but a nice piece of training that will hopefully count towards the TT up Alpe d'Huez. Then five minutes recovery and straight into the sweet spot sessions aimed at giving me the power I need for La Mamot. And there I started off with a 20 minute block, 30 seconds at 70 to 80% of FTP, i.e. 220 to 245 watts, straight into 30 seconds at 100 to 106% of FTP, i.e. 300 to 315 watts, averaging about 270 watts over the 20 minute block. Then a bunch of nice chat laps with Gavin, before rounding off proceedings going the opposite direction, and, and definitely the gradient is more favorable for even power, um, where I did a giant ramp um, from about 75% uh, of FTP all the way to 108% of FTP, i.e., I don't know, 235 through 315 watts, averaging again about 270 watts, and then straight in to a 10 minute ramp doing exactly the same. So I reckon I've banked a couple of uh, nice um, blocks of training that will count to both of the events um, in early September. Well, as is often the case for me, yesterday I ate plenty of carbs. Therefore, first thing this morning when I woke up, the muscle stores already full of glycogen. So I elected to complete this training fasted on just a cold coffee, water, and amino acids. And that means that there comes a point in the training where the glycogen stores in the muscles are getting depleted. And that means the body has to turn on the process of liposis, i.e. converting body fat to create the energy needed to fuel the training. So I'm feeling pretty hungry right now. It's time to head home, procure a nice French baguette, probably one from Sainsbury's. I'm rather liking the ones from Sainsbury's in all honesty. Simples, carb up a little bit, probably take it nice and easy tomorrow. Uh, maybe open up the legs a little bit on Friday ahead of a Zwift race on Saturday morning. So the level of excitement's high. Sainsbury's baguette, always a source of joy. But additionally today, trying out for the very first time, rhubarb and strawberry jam. Let's see. And it even looks rhubarb -y. Mm. I really like that. Rhubarb and strawberry jam. Perfection. 